YouTube, DJK coming to you with a quick video. Just want to talk briefly about Mac OS Mavericks and software compatibility with some of the companies that I have, some of the software that I have on my computer. Akai Pro, um, Tractor Scratch Pro, Native Instruments Machine 1.8. All those softwares work fine. Every last one of them. I can bring up Tractor right now and I can show you that it's not going to crash or anything or everything works fine. I can bring up a drum track from these loops here and uh, I can play it and you see that it's working fine with no problem no issues uh, so that's compatible with already It's already compatible with Mac OS Mavericks also native instruments machine 1.8.2 I think that's what they on right now with the old software for the first and second generation machines that works fine I can't really play a beat on here because my hard drive is not connected to it. And my, my plugins are on my hard drive. So it won't do anything really right now. But I'm just showing you guys that it does come up. And it does work fine. Uh, no issues. No crashes or anything like that. On that software. On the Akai NPC Renaissance software. It works no problem. Loads up fine. No crashes whatsoever. Don't be scared to uh, install Mac OS Mavericks. Mac OS Mavericks. It was an update. Uh, a OS update but it didn't really have a whole lot of new features to me it just had like um, now they got iBooks on there you can tag different files and photos and put them you know put them in like tag different stuff to go search for things real quick and make your workflow on a Mac computer a lot faster that's pretty much what they did and they also did something with Apple um, TV to where you can mirror, you can actually mirror, you've been able to mirror your screen, which you see my screen right there mirrored on the computer, I mean on the TV over there. So you see it's mirrored right now with app with the uh, MacBook Pro. But you, what you can do is you can have, you can extend your desktop. So all you got to do is go up here and you can select extend desktop right there. And what that's going to do, which I don't really know how to really work it that well, but I know that you will have two screens. You can have your MacBook Pro screen right here, and then you can go over to your TV. And as you can see, there's nothing on that desktop. That is desktop number two. And how do you bring things up in that desktop? I can't really go into detail on that yet because I don't really know. I just know how to extend the desktop so I can show you guys that that's what the new that was that was the big one of the biggest features they had in Mac OS Mavericks. I guess one of the biggest features. Another big feature they had is uh something that will help you have more battery life uh so your macbook pro will run uh, more efficiently and save more save power i guess hopefully i don't know i haven't really i can't really test that right now because i always have my macbook pro plugged up all the time most of the time right now it's not but it's almost about to die anyway but it's supposed to be better with battery life with this new OS update. Also, the new Mac OS updates from here on out are going to be free. They're never going to charge their customers again for an uh, OS update. They come out with Mac OS Jason. I don't know what they're going to go to next. But I'm just saying, whatever they go to is going to be free. It's never going to cost you anything for future uh, OS upgrades or whatever. All upgrades will be free from here on out. Um... Hopefully other companies follow suit with that, you know, like Native Instruments with the Machine 2.0 software. Some people don't want to pay that $99 for that 2.0. But I think because it's brand spanking new, it's a brand new redesigned software. That's probably why you can say that it's justifiable, justified, that price is justified because it's brand new software. It is not Machine 1.8, it's Machine 2.0, which is a brand new software. And I think uh, Native Instruments already has an update for Mac OS Mavericks, I think, already. So when you buy a machine to uh, software or your machine studio that's going to come with Machine 2.0, when you go to Service Center to activate your product, most likely you're going to get a, a message saying uh, you got to download an uh, update for Machine 2.0. Probably already. I think I read that somewhere that they already updated their software so they can be more, uh, compatible with Mac OS Mavericks on the mac computers i don't know about no windows stuff don't even ask me about windows because windows sucks pretty much balls if you ask me that's just my opinion on about windows i don't like windows at all anyway that's all i want to do is talk talk to you guys about uh compatibility with maverick software compatibility with different companies that i have on my computer like akai 
Native Instruments Tractor, Native Native Instruments Tractor Scratch Pro. All those softwares work, so you can go download, you know, install this upgrade. It's not gonna destroy your computer unless you got other stuff running on that. I don't know what you guys got on your computer, but I just know what I have on mine, and everything works fine. Logic Pro X also works too. I can bring that up really, really quick here and just show y'all that Logic Pro X works with no problem. It's not gonna crash or anything like that. It's talking about scanning for audio units or whatever. I did get one issue when it scanned it. For some reason, Absinthe wouldn't load up in here. It's scanning right now for audio plugins. I don't know why. But um, it still works. It works fine. Just want to let you guys know that. See you guys on the next video. Thank you all for subscribing to the YouTube channel. And thank you all for liking the Facebook page. And if you haven't liked the Facebook page, make sure you go to facebook.com slash fans and like the page. I'll see you guys on the next video. DJK is out.